Bubba Segi is gross, you guys. He's disgusting. Let me tell you why. Hi, guys. So today we are going to talk about a new book that I finished reading some time ago. It is called The Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives. You can also find some editions that's actually called The Secret Wives of the The Secret Lives of the Four Wives. I think that was the first edition of this book. And this book is by Lola Shoye Shoyehin. Shoye Shoneyin. Sorry. I hope I said that properly because you guys know I'm Ghanaian and I'm not familiar with a lot of non-Ghanaian names and so I may have a hard time pronouncing them. So if I said it wrongly, please just correct me in the comment section below, okay? All right, so before I even get into this book, I want to say that as I read it, I felt like I was reading a work of poetry and I just, I, I was like, how? What is happening here in this book? How come, I mean, everything was so eloquent. I, I was like, these village ladies are speaking like so eloquently. I just couldn't, I mean, the, the diction, the prose, it was beautiful. I loved this book and I just couldn't figure it out. And then I learned at the end of the book that the author is a poet. Let's talk about Baba Segi himself. Now, Baba Segi is a man who lives in the village. He owns his own business and he's doing fairly well. He has enough money that he can provide for his four wives and his seven children, okay? So he's got a lot of things happening for him. But let me tell you something about Baba Segi that I just, as I read this book, I just, my whole, my face was like this the entire time. Baba Segi is gross, you guys. He's disgusting. Let me tell you why. He is like, he has these gastrointestinal problems and he just, the, everything, he just, it's always coming out. The food is always coming out. It's coming out this way or it's coming out that way. But it's just disgusting. And the author did a good job of painting him like a, a gross man. You know, like when somebody is just, you're just sick of the person, that's Baba Segi. And not just that, he reminds me of, you know when you watch Nigerian movies? Not the kind that you see on Netflix. Yes, you can watch Nigerian movies on Netflix, but not the kind on Netflix, but the ones that are on you, you can watch them on YouTube where it's like old school Nigerian movies where it's like village life and everybody's fighting each other every day and there's pettiness and cattiness amongst the women. And then you have like the village idiot, the fool in the village. That pretty much is how Baba Segi looked to me. Like, he's the kind of person who you know, his pants were way too big and then he might hold it up with the belt or he might just hold it up with his hand and then the bottom of the pants are so big that they're just dragging on the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness, Baba Segi, okay? That's how I envisioned Baba Segi as I read this book, that he's just a disgusting man. All right, let's talk about his wives, okay? So Baba Segi, before he brought in his fourth wife, he had three wives, of course. He had three wives, and each of these ladies were from different villages, okay? So none of them are literate, okay? But they're all, they all know how to get through society their own way, and they have secrets. These ladies have secrets, secrets on top of secrets, okay? I mean, this is like the, the den of secrets. It's like, if you could have a CIA of the village, it would be, Baba, it would be in Baba Segi's house. That's how these ladies are. They're secretive. Mm. So he's married to these women. They have these children for him and whatnot. And then suddenly, here comes Bolanle, okay? His like university educated wife. Now, let me say something. In almost all, I don't know about other African societies, but I'm gonna say that in almost every African society, if a woman is educated, she is most likely not going to end up with a non-educated man. It just doesn't happen that way. That's just not how things go. It can be the other way around where a man is educated and then he's with a non-educated woman. That's perfectly fine. But if it's the other way around, there there might be some problems within, you know, the household and with parents and, and stuff like that, okay? That's just how it is, unfortunately, okay? Um, so, Bolanle has a university education and she's married to Baba Segi. 
and I can really hear Bolanle's parents as she was going off with this man like, what are you thinking in your head? Uh, hey. We went and we put you into school. We paid your school fees. We sweat. We did so many things for you. And then you, you, this is how you repay us. This is how you repay us. You, 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 you want to go off with this old man. Okay. Bien ta. That's how a Ghanaian parent would say it. Nigerian parents, I, 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 I don't have the accent down, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's off with Baba Segi. She goes into his house and sure enough, she has to deal with the village politics. Okay. These ladies are just j j working overtime to get her out of that house because they have a shared secret and these ladies have to work to keep their secret and Bolanle is a threat to all of it. Okay. And so that's pretty much the gist of it. This book, I mean, in the house, there's so many things that are happening and these ladies are plotting and doing so many dramatic things just so that they can keep their secret alive and to get Bolanle out. Okay. I found the book to be really funny with the exception of some parts that were just really sad and just, you know, they just, they just made you think a little bit, but it was a good book. Overall, it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the poetic prose. I enjoyed just, just the way that this book was so vivid with imagery and with its characters. And I think that Lola did a beautiful job with this book. I cannot wait to read all of her other work. And I can't wait for you to read it also so we can talk about it, okay? So send me a message if you've read it already so we can discuss in detail some things that you enjoyed, some things that you didn't. And if you haven't read it yet, what are you waiting for? All right? So until the next review, I will see you next time. Bye!